my father dedicated his life to making the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway a reality. Today, the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway extends over 1,000 miles from St. Mark's, Florida to Mobile Bay. Across southern Mississippi to the port of New Orleans, the waterway extends through the southern portion of Louisiana into Texas and there connects with the ports of Houston and Corpus Christi. It continues along the Texas coast of Brownsville, ending at the Mexican border. It enables commercial goods such as petroleum, petroleum products, petrochemicals, salt, sulfur, coal, fertilizers, and lumber, safe economical transport to homes and factories all across the nation. It keeps American markets competitive with foreign producers. We are in a global economy. Conservationists use the waterway for access and maintenance of wetlands. Vacationers, recreational vessels, and hunters use the waterway as a highway to the beaches and blinds in Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. The country's largest commercial fishing industry depends on the waterway. The waterway has been a key ingredient in our successful space exploration, and the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway is an important component of our national defense. My father dedicated his life to the creation of the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway. Now the waterway has become an essential ingredient in American life. We must, as a nation, struggle to maintain it, improve it, and meet its environmental challenges. But today, the majority of America is unaware of this great national treasure and its struggle to provide America with the connecting link. The Gulf Intracoastal Waterway carries over 100 million tons of commodities, valued at over $20 billion. Let's take an example to illustrate barge traffic that would move along the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway. If, for example, we shipped salt part of the way in a deep draft vessel, the salt would have to be transferred between barge and ship several times. This is an added cost that would be passed along directly to the consumer in higher prices. Cargo traveling along the shallow, safe Gulf Intracoastal Waterway needs to be loaded only once. To ship one ton of salt from its origin in South Louisiana to Chicago all the way by barge would cost approximately $6. By train, the cost would be five times as much. Shipping to Cincinnati by barge would cost approximately $5 but truck transportation of the same load would cost $36. That's over seven times the cost. The same cost effectiveness holds true for other commodities shipped all the way by inland barge. For instance, gasoline from Baytown, Texas to Louisville, steel from Birmingham, Alabama to Brownsville, Texas, fertilizer from Baton Rouge to Columbus, Georgia, petrochemicals from Corpus Christi to Minneapolis, coal from Illinois to Panama City, Florida, sulfur, from the Gulf Coast to Tulsa, Kansas City, and even Pittsburgh. It is estimated that 25 cents out of every dollar spent on consumer goods is transportation cost. Hundreds of thousands of jobs are created by the Intracoastal Waterway. 110,000 water-related jobs are found in the Port of Houston alone. One out of every 11 jobs in the city of New Orleans is produced by port activities. Coastal mining and manufacturing firms employ 127,000 people. And commercial and sport fishing along the waterway creates 48,000 jobs in Texas. In Louisiana, the waterway moves $15 billion worth of goods, creating 76,000 jobs. And thousands of additional jobs are created in Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Payrolls and expenditures of industries in the coastal region produced an economic impact of over $30 billion.